Wind is the fastest growing energy industry in the world. And with the ever increasing problems associated with climate change, wind power is an ideal way to reduce carbon emissions, save money on your energy bill, and even put some cash back into your pocket. Australia is blessed with some of the best and most reliable winds on the planet. And unlike solar power, it works both day and night. There are currently 42 wind farms operating in this country, with 51% taking place right here in South Australia. Wind power has been used for centuries to sail boats and pump water, but it wasn't until the 1980s that it began to be used for electricity, and it's come a long way in the last 20 years. So how do the new wind turbines, like the Skystream 3.7, actually work? This turbine's a 240 volt system, so it transfers 240 volts right from the head of the turbine down into our shed, where we've got an inverter and battery charger charges the batteries and the inverter provides 240 volts to the house. It's a two and a half kilowatt rating and it means over a month you get about 500 kilowatt hours. In a good windy day you can start using it straight away because the, the turbine can feed the house directly as well as charge the batteries. To charge the batteries fully on a day like today it would take around 12-13 hours. We we're too far from the grid uh, and it would have cost us $50,000 or so to get connected. We needed our own power supply, we had to be self-sufficient, hence the turbine providing our remote area power system. The turbine puts out enough power at the moment to meet all our needs. At present, wind energy is only available to remote area power systems and the people and businesses in these areas. But things are about to change with government incentives awaiting approval for wind turbines to be connected to the grid systems by 2009. So with a clever combination of solar and wind power, you can not only reduce your power bills to zero, but you can farm both sources by pumping additional energy back into the grid, making you money while you sit back and count the cash. It's ideal for farmers who can guarantee an additional income while still carrying out normal farming activities, as only around 2% of their land is needed for the wind turbines. And the sheep, cows and horses don't seem to mind a bit. A wind system is intended to pay for itself relatively quickly and with low maintenance costs and government rebates it's definitely worth paying close attention to when this is available to the general public. To find out more contact Solar Shop Australia on 1300 Sun Power to find out what's on offer in your state or just go to the Solar Shop website. Next week we'll show you how to harness the sun's power to produce hot water for your home.